Hello, welcome back to Grammy Colleen Crochets. This is Grammy Colleen and welcome to Whip Wednesday. So Whip Wednesday is about what we have in process on our hooks. <clears throat> I have, I think I have a UFO and then I have other projects that I've been working on. The, um, what we're making Thursday hexagon bag. I set aside time and made myself focus on it and work on it. And it's not going to happen. It went to timeout. So just to let you know that ahead of time, I won't be finalizing that within July, which is a bummer because it's the first one I've been taking part in, but I just, it's not worth it. I want to thank everyone for coming by, ask you to hit that like button and subscribe if you think you might like it. Uh, sharing out is always nice too. It helps us a lot. Okay, so let's start with my scrap can. I'm doing a granny scrap can. <clears throat> I have a box where I put my unused yardage when I was done with projects all of 2022. And so I'm just adding them as they come up. And this is, I'm five, two and a half, and this is my full arm oops, span. And it's just a ever, everlasting granny or whatever you want to call it. It's very pretty. And I'm getting into some blues and purples, and those are my favorites, so. That's lots of fun. Okay, I participated in, or am actively participating in the weight loss challenge with Connie. I'm getting healthy. Um, I went down five, ten, 10 pounds when I went to the doctor last week. I was down 10 pounds, which was a surprise because I had been focusing and staying aware of what I was eating, but I hadn't started to adjust it yet. So that was a nice surprise. Um, my iron is back up. My anemia is not as bad as it was. And all the other levels have leveled out. So all the things that happened to me that then got the meds changed that then I'm still adjusting to after the three weeks stay in the hospital. Everything's starting to smooth out and come back to a normal state. So those of you that wondered, thank you for keeping me in your prayers and sending those good vibes. I feel them and I appreciate them. All right, that halter top I thought was right here. However, I was working on it last night I'm not sure where I put it right this minute. I'll show it to you when I get to it. All right, I have this UFO, which is a little amigurumi. And this is all I have of it. I have extra yarn, but I don't have labels. <laughs> so I'm gonna make something out of it. I don't know if it's gonna be a lovey or a stuffy but it'll be something purple and beautiful so this is the yarn i was doing the hexagon bag in see i even have hexagons left that i haven't frogged and i went ahead and took this colorway and just started making little motifs A, I must be missing one of my whip bags. Oh, here. Here we go. No. That I just did. Sorry, guys. I thought I was more organized than this. Here, Here's my new. Here we go. Okay. Whoops. Here is the hexagon. No. Halter top. 
and I've finished. I just need to tuck in my ends. But I did not go with a button clasp. I finished it, tightened it up and finished it around the edging on the top, on the back and the front. So I'm done with that. And I'm just adding a little more length, which I've done on the bottom. And so now I'm adding a row of single crochets. And then I think I will do a textured, I don't know, probably half an inch final border. Oh, my husband snuck in and brought my breakfast. Now the dogs are in here. <laughs> oh, the colors that I just, or the motifs that I decided to go with instead of the hexagons are just one, two, three, we'll see, one, two, three rows and a single crochet border until I connect them. And I might, this is the one scheme that I had after I made hexagons and stuff or attempted to, and I still have quite a few squares left come out of this and then I have three or four others. So I may do a baby blanket. I may do a sweater. I'm not sure yet. I just love the look of these little motifs right now for some reason. And I love it when the colors pop like that. I'm not, I'm not controlling color at all. I'm just letting it pool as it normally would from the skein. Yes, Ella, I feel you. You're a good girl. All right, I'll show you a prototype that I did today. It's a fail, but I know how to fix it and make it a a winner. So it's not chicken. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, it's supposed to be a baseball. Baseball hat and a baseball bat. Royal blue baseball bat. I know how to fix this, and I know how to fix this. So I should have two completed by this afternoon. Hopefully we have a softball slash baseball game to go to. Oh, I did finish one more little set for the baby dolls. I gotta clip that because it's tight. I have a little bonnet and then a C2C baby blanket. This is in the Favorite Stripes by Red Heart. And I just did a shell. I mean a cluster. Border. Same on the hat. But I really like the way the favorites made up. Favorite Stripes from Red Heart. I think this is the last like baby doll project I'm gonna be doing for a while. I have the red, white, and blue dress done. on this little dress. I may make some more accessories for her. I'm not sure yet. I pulled this out of my goodies that I made last year and am gonna be using it, wearing it, utilizing it. I think perfectly in time, June isn't over yet and it's lightweight enough and has open enough stitching in areas that I think it's gonna be beautiful. And it's big enough, it's very big. Very, very, very big. I could wrap up in it and take a nap. <laughs> okay. And I think the final thing to show you today, I got my Mary Maxim kit for, had to be June, and it is a Daybreak Poncho. And you can wear it like that, or you can wear it like that. Let me see if there's another picture I can show you. 
without exposing the pattern. So I was thrilled about the colors and the yarn when it came, even though it's acrylic in the summertime. I have a sundress that will match it. So I've got one panel, one row from being done. And then I'll do the next panel and I should have that to show. I don't know, within the week, I would think. If not, then connecting with crochet is on Laura's Yarn Talk on Sunday again, and I should have it then. So anyway, guys, that's my update for my What You Working On Wednesday or Whip Wednesday. You can see the neon rainbow shawl. I like to wear it in the front. I don't like my arms to show when I'm on my videos with y'all. So this works real quick and it's not too hot. Oh, I dropped some of my squares. Whoops. Some of these are just almost perfect. I just love the little motifs. Whoops, that's the wrong side. I will talk to you guys all next time. Happy hooking. Let me know what you're working on. What's your favorite drink right now? Leave a comment relative to the video and there's gonna be a drawing and a prize, a mystery bag and a couple stitch markers. So if you hung out this long and hear that, let me know what you're working on, what your plans are, if any, for participating in our crochet along on Connecting with Crochet Celebrating Independence, which is our summer crochet along. All right, guys, happy hooking. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.